I think it's also about opportunity. When you look at it, how many black offensive coordinators do we have? How many black quarterback coaches do we have? It has to start there. There has to be a, a baseline where the growth develops from the offensive side. I think the one thing you saw there and what you mentioned with myself, Mayo, and uh, D'Amico is that you talk about guys that were captains. They were leaders. They were the alphas on their team. They demanded respect. They earned the respect by their work ethic, both on and off the field, in the classroom. But if you want to flip it to the other side, you need to see more growth with more African-Americans or minority coaches at the quarterback position. For example, like, do they get another shot? There's a couple of coaches that who are African-American who are not coaching currently. I brought those gentlemen in for interviews and very, very qualified, you know, and it wasn't that I decided to go with somebody else, a white counterpart or a white coach. It was, I went, I went with the best coach, the best fit for us, but they're well deserving of it. You know, gentlemen like Eric B. Enemy, Byron Leftwich, Pep Hamilton, Hugh Jackson is another name that, you know, gentlemen I interviewed. Those gentlemen are all qualified and are ready to be in the NFL and as an offensive coordinator, head coach. It's all about timing as well.